Hello and welcome to the 3 minute Quran study, the place where we sort facts from fiction. In the last video we saw how many biblical names found their way into the Quran via an eastern dialect of Aramaic. Today we want to continue looking at Aramaic words in the Quran as they were identified by Alphonse Mingana. After proper names, the second group Mingana identified were religious terms. Here are some examples. Holy Spirit in Arabic is pronounced as Ruhu al Qudusi. In Aramaic it's Ruha Kadisha. And the Christ is pronounced Masih in Arabic, Mshiha in Aramaic. These are just a few examples, but beyond individual words, Mingana also identifies entire phrases that are clearly taken from the Aramaic, even if they originate in Hebrew or Greek scripture. Expressions such as light upon light or manna from heaven are such examples. Mingana finds a few exceptions like Torah or Ark, which enter the Quran directly from the Hebrew, not through Aramaic, but he deems the total number of these exceptions to be negligible. Next up are common words. Fish is Nuni in Arabic, Nuna in Aramaic. A scriptural reading is Quran in Arabic, Karyana in Aramaic. Mingana also identifies some Greco-Roman words in the Quran, mostly weights, measures and matters of currency, but even here the specific pronunciations hint at these words arriving in Arabic via the Aramaic language. For both religious terms as well as common words, Mingana once again stresses that it is a distinctly Eastern Aramaic dialect which seems to be at the root of things. A fact which we should keep in mind. Number 4. Orthography Several features of the orthography of the ancient Quranic manuscripts clearly indicate a strong Syriac Aramaic influence. One of them is the elimination of the Aleph of prolongation. Many plural words are written without the Aleph in the old manuscripts, just like in Aramaic. Here is one example. The word for daughters typically has the Aleph of prolongation. Not so in early Quranic manuscripts, where it is written just like in Aramaic without the Aleph. And finally, Mingana also recognized something that should be familiar to us. He already found some of the words which have that little tick instead of an aleph. The phrase he chose him should be written with an aleph in Arabic, but in the oldest Quranic manuscripts it has that little tick. Mingana is familiar with that writing convention. It is Aramaic in nature. In the next video we will complete our look at Alphonse Mingana's observations. Until then, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.